Samantha and today I want to talk about the Mamaroo. So we ended up buying a Mamaroo and we've already gotten rid of it because Olivia's sitting up unassisted. We ended up getting to try out the old Mamaroo and also the new Mamaroo. So I'm going to talk about both, talk about the things I liked and didn't like about both models. So first of all, the Mamaroo is a very different kind of swing. It's supposed to be more natural to how your baby feels your motion when you're like rocking the baby or swaying. It's got a lot of different motions. I think there's five different motions and one of them also mimics the car, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure that's the one Olivia liked the whole time we used the Mamaroo. It gives you lots of various motions, not just a swing back and forth. And actually that's the only motion that it doesn't do. It does not swing back and forth like you're used to. Um, it swings side to side. All the motions are side to side. Um, it can go in all sorts of different motions side to side, but it doesn't swing the other way. So when we first got it, we had been using just a regular traditional swing that took batteries. We had borrowed it from a friend, but we were just going through batteries so quickly because as you guys know, Olivia slept in her swing until I think like three, three and a half months. I can't remember exactly, but she slept a good amount of time, all the time sleeping in her, in her swing. She was sleeping in her swing full time and we just went through so many batteries. We probably could have bought another swing in the amount of batteries we were using in this other swing. So we decided to go ahead and buy the Mamaru. And when I had bought it on Amazon, it was $169.99 and the other swing I had looked at was $149.99. So I was like, for 20 extra bucks, I'm gonna get the Mamaru. It's highly rated. It's like the Mercedes of baby swings. I'm like, I'm just going for it. I'm gonna get it. I knew they had pretty good resale value on various um, uh, various like virtual garage sale sites, like Virage Sale is one of them. I knew they always sold really nicely on there. So I'm just like, we'll take the chance, we'll get it. Now the thing with the Mamaru is it does not come with an infant insert. Supposedly you can use it without an infant insert all the way through because it does kind of cuddle your baby. Um, but they do have an additional infant insert. It's $25 or $29.99, something like that. And we didn't buy it at first because she was already a couple of months old by the time we had moved her into this swing. So we thought we didn't need it. And the first couple of times I put her in the Mamaru, she absolutely hated it. And to be honest, I hated it too. I hated how she sat in it. Didn't matter how tight I got her buckles, she would always slide down in the swing. And I wish I had taken some footage. I didn't take any footage and we've already sold it off now. Um, but she would just slip down in it and it would just look so uncomfortable. It seemed like her whole crotch area was being squished down into the swing. She did not like it, she would cry. And so I was reading online, like how do you get your baby from, um, to prevent the baby from sliding down? And everybody said, that's what you need the infant insert for. So we had to pay the extra 25 or $29 to get this infant insert when we were hoping we wouldn't have to use it. So we ended up having to use it. She used the infant insert pretty much until we sold the swing. Um, she fit really nicely in the infant insert. And that was the only way I could get the harness to actually fit her correctly was with the infant insert. And my baby's a big baby. She was, you know, nine pounds, one ounce, always high in the percentiles and she needed the infant insert. So I think if you're gonna get the Mamaru, you have to get the infant insert if you want your baby to be comfortable because my baby just slipped down so badly in it. And it was just, it looked uncomfortable just looking at her. So. That right there, you know, when you're buying it, it's already an expensive swing, but when you have to tack on 30 more dollars, it's a really expensive swing. So we ended up pay paying basically $200 for the swing. And the thing with the Mamaru also is the weight limit is 25 pounds or when your baby can sit up unassisted. And that is just the two things, whatever comes first. And my baby sat up before five months. If I had kept the swing, um, and she had used it all the time. I could only use it until she was five months old anyway. So if you have a baby who sits up early, you're, you're just not able to use the swing. <laughs> so that's another thing to keep in mind. Most baby swings go up to 30, um, sometimes 35 pounds. So that's also something to keep in mind. The swing has a lower weight limit on it. And because of how the harness is, your baby can't be sitting up in it 
or else it's just not safe. Um, the harness is a three-point harness versus a lot of swings have a five-point harness with the straps that go across the shoulders. So that really covers all the negatives about the swing. Once we got the infant insert, she absolutely loved the swing. She slept in it full-time just like she slept in the other swing and we saved batteries because we could just plug it into the wall and she just loved the swing after that it fit her so snugly the chair actually can incline at any angle so it goes almost all the way sitting to almost all the way flat laying down which was great we just started sloping her down more and more and then we transitioned her into her crib and she was almost you know in a flat position anyway because she had been laying flat in this swing. But I think the swing really helped transition her into her crib finally uh, because it inclined so well. Now the motions were all good, the speeds were really good, and I really am glad we ended up getting the swing. Now the reason we were able to try out the 2015 model, which is the new one that has the Bluetooth Wi-Fi capability, um, the reason we got to try that one was because our old model base started making a clicking sound. So it would go, you know, it's doing like a figure eight kind of motion, and every time it would do one of the motions, it would click. So it would be like click, 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 click and we were just going crazy with it. So I called the um, customer service line and they immediately worked on replacing it for me. Um, I think we got the new base within like three days and I shipped the old base back. They gave me the, you know, the shipping label to ship the old one back, which was really great. I think the customer service was impeccable and they gave me the option if I wanted the old base or I could upgrade to the new base free of charge. And I upgraded the new base so that I could talk to you guys about it. I knew at that point in time, we were gonna transition her out of the swing. So I knew we weren't gonna use it that much longer and she was already kind of transitioning out of it anyway, but I wanted the new base so I could talk about it with you guys and talk about both of them. So I found that the new base was awesome because it hooks to your phone and I have the app on here. Um, I don't have the actual machine anymore, but it just has an app you download, hopefully you can see that. And it has the Pomeroo, Rockaroo, Bounceroo, Breeze, Origami, Infant Tub, like all their different things you can look at. So I would always just hit Mamaroo and we've already got it registered and it's trying to connect. And of course it won't connect because I don't have the machine with me anymore. Um, but it would let you control the sounds, the music's on it, the volume, the speed, and then the motion that it does. And I thought it was really neat because once she would go to sleep, I would start lowering the motion on it and she would stay asleep. And that's how we knew she was ready to transition is when she woke up, she didn't get upset being on in a stopped swing. She ended up totally getting used to being motion free. Um, but that was really nice. And if she woke up and the speed was too low and she couldn't go back to sleep, I'd just crank up the speed a little bit and she would be lulled right back to sleep. So it was so wonderful to be able to just control it and keep an eye on her with the monitor um, and not have to go into the room and, you know, you have to go right in front of them to mess with the control panel of the old model. But one thing, you also can control it from the actual base. You don't have to have a smartphone that works with the new model. Now, as far as the actual panel goes, I found that the older model was easier to control in the dark. Um, the screen on it was really, really bright blue, and I actually ended up having to cover it up during the night because it was so bright, but I could see all the buttons. I could change the volume or the sound effects or anything in the dark and not have any problem. Whereas the new base, everything was like really sleek, everything looked black, the screen wasn't bright at all, and I really had trouble turn, even just turning it on and off in the dark, because all of it was flat, whereas the old model had some dials on it. Um, this one was just all flat with buttons, and I had trouble with it at night, so that's another thing to keep in mind. And the other huge difference between the two models is the new model cuts off after four hours. If the machine is on for four hours, not even just in motion, just if you have the on button on for four hours, the thing will cut itself off. So that is a problem if your baby sleeps in it at night. And we did have a couple of nights early on when we got the new model base that it would cut off after four hours and she would wake up. 
So that's definitely a problem if you plan on having your baby sleep in it or if your baby, you know, refuses to sleep anywhere else like our baby did. She had to be in a swing the first few months. So that's definitely a problem. The old model base, it, I couldn't find anything in the literature saying when it would cut off or if it would cut off, but I found at like nine or 10 hours, it did cut off. I'm pretty positive there were times where I know the machine was on, but she slept through the night and it was off by the time we woke up. So it had to be somewhere around nine or 10 hours. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure because I didn't really time it. Um, and I couldn't find anything online about that, but I'm pretty positive it does cut off eventually. But that's pretty much all I can think about the two machines. I definitely would recommend either one. I know they are more expensive, but they just work so nicely. They're so smooth. The customer service, like I said, was amazing in my case. They shipped it immediately and we didn't have a problem at all with their customer service. Um, but I definitely recommend getting the infant insert. If you're gonna buy the Mamaru, you might as well just get the infant insert. Um, and now as for resale value, I have seen them sell on Virage sale anywhere from like 170 downward. And I ended up selling mine for $150, which I'm really happy with that. We paid, we paid $200, I sold it for 150. So basically we had a swing for a few months for 50 bucks. So I'm really content with it. I don't have any regrets about buying it. I'm glad we bought it. I really wish we would have bought it sooner and used that the whole time and saved us a lot of money for batteries. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this review. Please give me a thumbs up if you like baby product reviews and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.